Your eminence, your eminences, your graces, brother clergy, distinguished members of the Archdiocesan Council, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Father Jason Roll. I'm the director of the Department of Youth and Young Adult Ministries. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today, but I've been summoned by the Patriarchate to represent His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius at an international youth conference. So instead, Stephen Cristoforo, our parish ministries coordinator, will be speaking on my behalf. But before I turn things over to him, I just want to highlight some of the great things our department has been doing lately. Our most popular ministry offering is Be The Bee, a weekly video series on our YouTube channel, which Ancient Faith Radio also carries. We drew the theme from a metaphor I really love, used by Elder Paisios. Just as a bee goes from flower to flower, collecting nectar to make honey, we need to find the truth and beauty that God has placed in everyone and in everything. And that's what we're trying to teach in Be The Bee. It's been amazingly popular, not just in the Archdiocese, but amongst all Orthodox, both in the U.S and around the world. Kids are watching it, teens are watching it, parents are even watching it, youth groups are watching it, and Sunday school teachers are using it. It's making a huge difference. Our YouTube channel now has over a thousand subscribers. Before we started Be The Bee, it had only 11. Another fantastic resource Y2M is offering is Exogenous. As Orthodox, we need to read the Bible more and understand it better. Exogenius is that powerful tool that helps youth and young adults do just that. Working closely with Dr. Bruce Beck, Assistant Professor of New Testament and Director of the Papist Patristic Institute at Holy Cross School of Theology, we're annotating the Sunday Gospel readings with quotes and questions to help people better understand the Bible. Our goal is to annotate the complete set of Sunday Gospel readings this year and start annotating the Sunday Epistle readings next year. And in the next month, we hope to offer a weekly podcast to go with Exogenius. It's called Word, and will be available on Ancient Faith Radio. Speaking of podcasts, I recently started a podcast on the Orthodox Christian Network called OL with FJ, Orthodox Life with Father Jason. We are taking Orthodox Life Sessions, something so many of our youth and young adults know from their summers at camp, and giving people access to that beautiful resource anytime, anywhere. It's the sort of spiritual nourishment people miss when they leave camp, and it's our way of helping feed people when they're back in the world. We're just a few episodes in, and the feedback has been extremely positive so far. The final big item I want to highlight for you, before I turn things over to Steve, is our new program of Be The Bee Retreats. We were so excited when parishes were informing us they were using Be The Bee in their Sunday school lessons and their retreats. In time, we began receiving invitations to lead Be The Bee retreats at parishes all across the country. We had our first two Be The Bee retreats during Holy Week. Our first, on Holy Thursday, drew about 30 kids. Our second, on Holy Friday, drew about 70. Not bad considering how busy things are during Holy Week. Our goal is to offer fun, education, and uplifting retreats for youth, young adults, and parents around the country. We already have three more scheduled and many more being finalized. There's a lot more to discuss, so I'll turn it over to Steve. I've asked Steve to speak on behalf of me and our department. For those of you that don't know Steve, he's a graduate of Yale University, Fordham Law, and Holy Cross. Before attending seminary at Holy Cross, he was a lawyer on Wall Street for two years. We've been blessed to have him on our team for a year now, and without further ado, I pass it on to Steve. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen.